one of the most essential qualities of a vocational education or a career in technical education is that it takes learning beyond the classroom setting. Um, it's not about just being book smart and just knowing the content, it's about actually being able to use it to accomplish something and I think that's an aspect that, that some of our students miss when they continue their education or into the workforce. Um, today vocational education is not about just preparing students to enter the workforce, it's about so much more. When our students leave us, it is our expectation that they will continue to learn throughout their whole lives, whether it be in an apprenticeship program or in the workforce, or just as importantly, as they enter a junior college, a four-year institution, and beyond. Um, what we give them is the content plus the ability to apply it and to work with their peers and teams and to collaborate so we ensure that they are successful in every aspect of what they do for their future. My name is Mrs. Hankins and I teach electronics for the Vocational Center. I have an electrical engineering degree from Mizzou and I worked out in the field for 10 years. I designed and repaired radar systems for the government. When I fix radar systems, you have to use an oscilloscope. So an oscilloscope is not a natural, normal thing to use. It's, it's a little bit complicated, so you actually have to learn how to use an oscilloscope before you can use it to even repair things. So they're learning that it's an expensive piece of equipment, but every electrician and every electrical engineer has to be able to use it well. I have some students that go on to SIU to become electrical engineers, and I have many students go on to Rankin or SWIC to become electricians or linesmen, and they have to use the scope. So it prepares anybody for going into any type of electrical work to use every kind of test equipment that they will see out in the field. If you look around, we have every kind of capacitor, every kind of, uh, we have Tesla coils, we have Jacob's ladders, we have oscilloscopes, that's at least $5,000 per scope. All the test equipment that you have here, you're gonna see in a real lab. I work for Emerson Electric, it's gonna be in their labs. So everything that I work with, I brought here, even down to the type of Lista cabinets that they are using for their workbenches. We bring in speakers from everywhere. Every kind of electrician or electrical engineer that I know of that would come speak to my class, I bring them in just to give them a well-rounded view of what you could do with your career in electronics, which is a million different things. The students that go in it, they already have the whole first year of, say, Rankin or SWIC or whatever. They get 12 hours of college credit or first whole semesters. They have a huge um, advantage in their knowledge base and so when they go in instead of if they didn't know it very well here they go in and they see it again now they're the tutor and so that reinforces their self-confidence and it reinforces their material so they have a huge heads up compared to anybody that didn't take my class. My name is Aaron Schuster. I'm the Collinsville Area Vocational Center Automotive Instructor. We teach basically modeled after the ASE certifications, um, all the areas of that. We work closely with industry to keep our students um, very employable um, to move to the next level. Uh, we want to give them a very, very good basic understanding uh, to go to college or to work in an entry-level position in the automotive industry. Uh, we cover everything from a screwdriver to an automatic transmission to the advanced electronics of a fuel-injected car. They do a lot of group work together. Um, they do a lot of jobs together so they can work collaboratively and help one another learn. First year they have to take an engine apart, put it back together, and it must run. As you look around the shop, we have uh, a bass boat they're repairing the fiberglass on. We have a truck that we're rebuilding the brakes on. We have tires that are being dismounted. We have tires that are getting balanced. We have a transmission getting flushed. We have a coolant system leak we're trying to diagnose and a timing belt on a Honda. That's just today. So there's a lot going on every day. It's very hands-on. The students that graduate from the automotive program will have a very well-rounded education in all areas of the car, um, including some business so they can pursue whatever the area they wish. We also have a pretty good job placement for students and try to work close as we can with industry standards to keep our name well known in the automotive industry. In order for a student to attend ABC, they have to be a junior or senior, uh, and they have to pretty much be on track with their graduation requirements. Um, if, if there are things that they've had to repeat because maybe they weren't successful in a core class, that somewhat limits their opportunity to schedule a two and a half hour block into their junior or senior year. 
It's not the kind of program that you can get into if you're not doing well at everything else. You have to be successful your first two years of high school. You have to be getting your graduation requirements taken care of to have the opportunity to come and get the hands-on skills that we offer.